Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And so, this is the L7 T Solar Bear. So, you got the output of the Solar Bear. You know, this actually has a slightly bigger cutout. All the rest of them seven and a quarter. This one is seven and three eighths. Uh, so it's slightly bigger, eighth of an inch bigger. But every, every, it went by inch, you went by a mile, all counts. But this is going to have the sound quality of the of the uh, solo, but shrunk. So it doesn't have the same power handling, but has the same sound quality as the Solar Berry. Sound quality. Might not have the same SPL, but has the same sound quality. The Q class is a totally different, it's a whole different, whole different animal. But anyway, I just want to show y'all the, the, the throw. You're going to be surprised at the throw on this boy. Yeah. And here we go. No, no. That's not this one. Baby, do me a favor. Come over here and, and turn the dial up two clicks. Let's see how much more I can take. I got it a four on low though. Eight on, two on low, two on low. Cause it's a D four, yeah, over this side. Turn the knob, turn the volume. I should be on. Tell me where it's at. Turn it one time. Tell me where it's at. Fifty. Go fifty two. See what happens. Hmm. That ain't bottom of that. Now that's a testament to keep the suspension. Need all these X Max in a good in a good box, whether it's sealed or ported. We won't get we don't need all this discouragement. This discouragement be cut in half. So we're gonna get the sound quality of the of the solo, but we're gonna shrink the mountain space. So, so for those of you who have who have you know I, I don't know I have I've sold out the Q class. I'm gonna sell out them solo X too. <laughs> but for those of you who can't find the Q class and some of you can't find the solar bear. Especially if you got a truck. I mean, this mountain there really, really helps the truck. You still got to have them 10 inches in the front, but this mounting, this mounting depth, as y'all see, when I go back to the unboxing video on this, this mountain depth is nice. Nah, man, I think you can, can go 53. We're getting close to almost 800 watts. Huh? Yeah, go to 53. One click. It might be the. That's 53, ain't it? Good lord. So it's. <laughs> it's close to get. It's close to taking 800 watts. Ooh! It's 350 RMS, baby. 750 RMS. 350 RMS. 750 feet. And it's taking this song. On the Fallout Gate 1200 at 2 ohm, because it's a D4. It is a D4, right? Yeah, it gotta be a D4. Yeah, it's a D4. I say it's getting about maybe 500 watts to it. Oh, I'm impressed. This little boy is moving. This is a uh, underhorn design, so your, your 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 throw is actually going 
that way more so than this way. But I want y'all to see that excursion. So when people tell you, you know, Kiki ain't got no excursion, like, well, just show them this video and say, well, what's this? It's the shallow driver. in the box. Alright, I might have already put a 15 in the box. I just ain't did it yet. I don't know when I'm gonna release this video. Hold on, I keep doing it. Anyway, that's the free air test of the the solo the kicker L7T. This is a shallow subwoofer. This thing has less than four inches mountain depth. It very, very light. Real tight spaces, and you want that sound. You want that knock. Another winner. Another winner. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So, peace.